No, this isn't a Greek wedding gone wrong, nor is it evidence of a chaotic sorting out in a Methodist crockery cupboard. It's actually a photo taken a couple of weeks ago when a small number of us in the chapel reflected on lament. We were encouraged to carefully write something on a piece of brokenness and place it down. It was a very powerful and meaningful moment. Last Friday, in a different Methodist church in Leon C, an altogether different and hideously tragic story unfolded that leaves a grieving family, a church community and a society facing the experience of brokenness. In a two-minute postcard, I'm not daring to offer any simple answers, rather just giving voice to the practice of lament, of crying out to God from the depths of our being when we feel that life is too complicated and too unfair. The Book of Psalms is a very helpful resource where we find language and themes that can speak on our behalf when our words are gone. In Psalm 90, it says, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. He's not sure how much longer he can hold up. He's weary. How long do we have to face this? Lament is a cry from the heart, giving voice to our deep emotions and thoughts, not just for the sake of getting things off our chest, but rather inviting God into our pain so that we may know his comfort and so that others can see that our faith is real. And a prayer. Lord, in your mercy, when life feels tough, complicated and unfair, please stand with us and hear our prayer. Amen.